We can never ensure 100% of the population against 100% of the hazards and vicissitudes of life, but we have tried to frame a law which will give some measure of protection to the average citizen and to his family against the loss of a job and against poverty-stricken old age. When the depression struck, there was no federal social safety net for the elderly and the unemployed. Almost half of America's seniors were unable to support themselves. Jobless people fell quickly into poverty. Family resources and charities were stretched beyond the breaking point, and state and local government provided little aid. Roosevelt, Secretary of Labor Francis Perkins, and other reformers had long supported the idea of government-sponsored pensions and unemployment insurance. Powerful grassroots movements in California, Michigan, and Louisiana were led by Francis Townsend, Father Charles Coughlin, and Senator Huey Long. They proposed their own plans for providing for the needs of the elderly and unemployed, giving the Roosevelt Plan a sense of urgency. On August 14, 1935, FDR signed his proudest domestic achievement, the Social Security Act. It created old age pensions and unemployment insurance, funded by payroll taxes on workers and employers. The act also provided grants to states to assist disabled people and fatherless children. This Social Security measure gives at least some protection to 50 millions of our citizens who will reap direct benefits through unemployment compensation, through old age pensions, and through increased services for the protection of children and the prevention of ill health.